So let's talk about changing our old V1 bit eye cameras into a V2 bit eye camera. The first thing you need to do is upgrade the firmware. Then in the next video I will show you how to make a USB cable. So the first step to making your V1 bit eye camera into a V2 bit eye camera is to upload the firmware and upgrade it. So you can go to my bit eye videos and down underneath the video in the description I'll have a link to where you can get the firmware. So just click on that and it takes you to the Google Drive page where the firmware is at. Okay, then you go to this folder right here, firmware latest versions. Go to this one and then you can click the download button. And then click this, another download button and it'll start downloading the firmware. You can see it working on it right here and now it's downloading. So now that the firmware is downloaded let's go ahead and just click on this arrow here, show folder, and then we have a RAR file, RAR file right there. I'm going to move this over a little bit so we got room. Okay, so let's double click this RAR file like that. Oh, I got a nag screen. I'll just close that. And then just uh, left click this and drag it. Drag the image folder over to the desktop. Okay, so now we got the image folder on the desktop. That's all we need. Okay, next take the card out of your camera and put it in the slot in the computer. And let's go ahead and just continue without scanning. We're going to look at this card. Now we need to put the image folder into the root directory of our card for the camera. So here is the root directory right here and we're going to take the image folder just copy it over there. Now according to the directions we don't need the uBoot file. I'm going to delete that. So we're going to install these two files, the fs file and the uImage file. And when we do that the camera is actually going to run through the process twice, once for each file. So let's go ahead and put the card in the camera, power up the camera, and we'll just watch the lights so we can get an idea how it all operates as it's uploading the firmware and upgrading it. So let's plug in the power and then we'll just go ahead and watch the lights. So at first it just blinks blue, slowly blinks blue, like it's doing a recording nothing unusual here. Then it starts blinking fast. Both lights are actually blinking. The red and the blue are blinking together fast. Now it does this, at least the theory is that I have developed is that it does this for each file that it writes and we're writing two files. Now I might be wrong on this but you can watch the lights just as a reference. So it'll blink fast while it's uploading the first file, which is the FS file. So it's doing that, and then it stops. Now you watch it, it'll go back to just blinking blue. Actually, I think it's blinking both lights still, but it's blinking slowly. Okay, and it looks like, hey, it's done. And at this point you might unplug the cable thinking, well, the directions say the blue light blinks slowly when it's done, so I'll just go ahead and unplug it. But you'd be wrong, because there's another file to write. So you have to be patient. You have to wait through the whole thing. Okay, you see it blinking a little faster now? The blue, the lights, now, there we go. Now it's writing the second file. And this is the U, I think it's called, this is the uh, U image file, yeah. This is the U image file, the second file. And this one takes a long, long time. And during this process, uh, I would guess that most people would probably just unplug it because it seems like it's going on forever. But let's just wait and see how long it takes here. 
I'm doing this real time instead of uh, cutting the video or speeding it up because I think it's important for everybody to see the entire process and just how long it takes so that you don't make the mistake of unplugging the cable or turning off the power and thinking it's done and that corrupts the image and then you have to start all over again your camera may still produce some video that way even though you've corrupted the file you might get just a white screen or something on your monitor but it won't record so you have to start the process over so you just have to be patient so as you can see it's been a long time already maybe go make yourself a sandwich and get a cup of coffee or something that's about what it amounts to so I'm just gonna let it all go all the way through because if I don't you won't know how long it takes I guess I could tell you but there's nothing like seeing the real thing okay now it's done with a second file but you don't unplug it yet we're looking for slow blinking blue lights like it's recording and there's one blue light that's not enough okay let's see okay now that's what we're looking for at this point we can go ahead and unplug the power because it's done so unplugging the power there we go there we go and now we are truly done now I don't know if it makes any difference or not but it's a good idea to probably remove the image folder from the SD card so put the SD card back into your computer and remove this image folder right here just deleting it and then you can put the card back in the camera and use it but let's just go ahead and uh, hook it up to the monitor I've got a special cable I made here it just runs the video out to an RCA plug so I can hook it to my monitor okay let's plug in the power and test the camera to see if it comes up on the monitor alright coming up here now at first after the upgrade you're gonna get a white screen and it looks like the camera's broken but it's really not broken now you can see we got video and it's working so that's what we're looking for that's the whole process just be patient and wait until both the images are written and you'll be successful. So that's it for this video, but in the next video I'm going to show you how to make a USB cable so you can take advantage of the features of the new firmware like downloading your files to your computer or you can also use a voltage detect cable and I'll get into that later as well. Here, play.